Alright, hello YouTube, Again, off the Gray here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use mods with Terraria, specifically uh, Topari, it's like a big RPG mod, and I'm going to be showing you how to use that um, <clears throat> with a tool called Terraria Game Launcher. It does have Steam Overlay, so it's, it's, it's a pretty nice tool. Alright, so to start, you just Google Toparia, and um, it's spelled T-O-P-A-R-I-A. It's like an RPG thing. And you want to download the Toparia zip file. Now, I already have it downloaded. I'll bring it up later. But, um, <clears throat> so you just want to click this link to download the file. Um, brings you to a media fire. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Um, and then you want to go to... Uh, the game launcher because you have to have this one first game launcher right there so click that link and then you'll go to here um, and then you want to click on current the bottom option right there so click on current you come over here to, or it brings you to this tab and then you want to um, go to download right there and when you download just um, I already have it downloaded, but I'll just show you what it does. Oh, AdFly, never mind, not Mediafire. Whatever. Well, I think Mediafire uses AdFly. But um, anyways, you want to click Run right there. Um, yeah, wait for this thing to finish doing this. Click Run anyways. Um, Alright, and it's going to say, do you want... Oh, um, well, something will pop up, but you can't see it on here. I think. Um, so then, just do the wizard. Um, I'm just going to cancel because I've already done it. But, um, yeah, to so do the wizard, and then you will, you won't notice any changes at first unless you launch Terraria. Then, um, here, I'll just show you. What happens is once you launch Terraria after doing the run thing, when you do it, um, a pop up will appear. But if you want to do it, and then you'll, this screen will come up, um, and I'll show you how you get these different options here. But anyways, this screen will pop up now with these different tabs instead of the normal, um, instead of just normally launching into the game. But to launch into the normal game like this, and it's just completely normal, just go to launch game right there, pretty obvious. You need to make sure to click on Terraria, because that's what launching just vanilla Terraria. <clears throat> so yeah. And just wait for it to launch. Not sure why it's taking a little while, but there we go. Okay. Yeah. Alright, so I'm just gonna exit that. Um Yeah. Okay. So I'm just gonna exit this for now and show you what you need to do to go on to get Toparia. Okay, so now that you have the game launcher, you can close these two things. Um, and you have the Terraria zip file, I hope, or you should. Um, if not, just download it here. Um, and then you want to go to where it downloaded. And again, it's like um, 7.44 megabytes or something like that. Um, it took a little while extracting, so I just went ahead and did that. Um, beforehand, so you want to just right click, go to extract, just like any other thing, then you have these things right here. Now, um, you won't use these yet, well, you will, but first you have to navigate to this file here. So go to the C drive, hard drive, um, program files times 86, just go into the Terraria folder in Steam, go down to Steam Apps, Common, Terraria, and you have all these different options here. <clears throat> you won't have these TCCL things unless you did, um, unless you have Terraria Custom Content Loader, which I did in my previous video. Um, anyway, so now you'll have Terraria Game Launcher, GUI things in here. Um, some new stuff than before. But what you want to do is to copy this content right here, these um, four files and just copy them right there and paste them into here. I won't do that because I already have it. But anyways, yeah. So um, 
once you have that, just go ahead and close out of this, and then close out of this one too, and then you can relaunch Terraria. Um, uh, yeah, and then you go to Toparia right there. Um, and then if you launch game, it'll launch just like normal Terraria. Um, but you'll notice once you launch it that um, it's different. <clears throat> it's yeah. Um, I'm just gonna wait here a bit. Um, yeah. All right. So here it's loading. And as you see, it does have Steam Overlay. And down here it says Toparia version 0.3.2 um, by Topa Geo. And then, as you see, you do have Steam Overlay with it, so that is nice. Um, anyways, I'm just going to exit that. And if you don't check this option here, the launcher will stay up while you're playing. Um, but what I'm going to say is, this is great, this thing. Um, but in my previous video that I re um, did, I showed how to get a texture pack. I used the new Zelda texture pack. And to do that, you needed um, Terraria Custom Content Loader. And with that, um, when you loaded it, it would load Terraria not with Steam. But with this, um, it does have it has Terraria Custom Content Loader separate, which is really nice. Um, and I'm pretty sure it does have Steam Overlay. So here, um, you don't have to go to the special shortcut to launch um, Terraria Custom Content Loader to have the texture pack or whatever. Um, it'll just load it um, normal. It'll load it with the launcher. So that is really nice. And um, let me just see if it has Steam Overlay. I'm pretty sure. Um, but okay, here I'm just going to show you these tabs and then go check that. Um, uh, see here's just some showing some useful things that you can download right there um, world gem different stuff oh see there's Terraria custom content loader at the very top yeah <clears throat> so it's made to work with game launcher so that's really nice um, not sure what skins or themes might be texture packs I don't think so um, character skins I'm not I'm not really sure what that is I think that would fall under texture box, but I don't know. Here's a server that you can launch from right here, so that's really nice. Um, and then here is just a log of what is going on. Alright, so here, let me just check and let me just see if the Terraria Custom Content Loader has Steam Overlay. Because I know if you launched it without using Game Launcher, it would not. So that's just another bonus of using this Game Launcher. Um, versus just vanilla try, I guess you could call it. Um, this kind of reminds me of the magic launcher with Minecraft. Just a thought there. Um, anyways, let's see. Oh, okay, no, it does not have Steam Overlay. Okay, um, I guess maybe if I have an old version of this then um, might have it in the future, I don't know, but anyways, um, thank you guys for watching, this is the game launcher for Terraria, um, see you later guys.